Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for coming out. I'm um, going to be discussing my artistic practice with you guys. So I'll be showing a um, couple projects. One of them I'll be speaking about uh, more in depth. And I'm just waiting for the slide to come up. OK, so my artwork is heavily influenced by my background in architecture. And you're going to see that in the work that I'm showing you. I create uh, speculative architectural interventions into urban surfaces and spaces. And they reflect my um, love of science fiction, as well as interest in borrowed and invented narratives that uh, include geopolitics, culture, technology, as well as mythology. Um, on a much larger scale, I'm also very much fascinated by urban planning and urban growth and urban development. So what you're looking at, right, is this plan, abstracted plan that I refer to as urban growth strategies. And they're actually derived from uh, images, microscopic slides of liquids interacting on the cellular level. And so I was really fascinated about the idea of this sort of self-organizing um, um, proponent and how that could then be projected onto this large scale and how that could be used to examine the ways in which cities uh, evolve, grow, and are organized. I'm also interested in cityscapes and landscapes and realizing them and creating them uh, imbued with utopian or dystopian ideals, depending on whatever the conceptual framework is. So that said, this is the Gap Map. And in the project, it's actually a uh, project narrative. It's actually owned by Gap. Uh, but that's also an acronym for Greater Area Protocol. And the idea behind this project is that it focuses on total surveillance um, linguistic as well as spatial segregation and the commodification of every aspect of basic human interaction. So someone who's really good at promoting a brand gets access to greater areas of the city. And those who are not that good are very limited. It was um, loosely uh, related to uh, South Africa's apartheid era past laws. So you can see from my work, I'm much more interested in generating inquiry and discourse than creating solutions to social issues or coming up with design problems. Um, the work is speculative and it's fantastic pull and um, it's about world building but still grounded in a lot of contemporary issues. A project that I've been working on uh, recently that is going to be ongoing is my shanty megastructures for Lagos, Nigeria. And the idea behind this project is that I'm taking the material and the construction and building typologies as well as the organizational strategies of uh, shacks and favelas and slums and informal settlements, and I'm blowing that up to this really large scale of commercial developments. And the idea behind this is to basically bring visibility as well as prominence to uh, marginalized communities. They're often displaced, often not considered. And you're actually looking at a series of photo montages where I've created 3D constructs. Um, designed them on a computer, and then interjected them into spaces of privileged real estate throughout Lagos. So nothing you're seeing is real. This isn't even, this isn't built. None of this is real. So that said, this uh, take place in Lagos, Nigeria, which is one of the fastest growing megacities on planet Earth. It's home to more than 25 million inhabitants, and that number is stated to uh, double in the next 10, 15 years or so. Um, that said, it's a place of an incredible amount of ingenuity and creativity and potential. You have major corporate and global economies uh, existing at the same time with the informal market economy, which is prevalent throughout Lagos. Conversely, there is a lot of poverty. There is failing infrastructure. There is uh, traffic, which is a nightmare. And these are the sort of things that I'm interested in when I'm looking at imagining a future city. And I'm excited about how Lagos will transform over the next you know, few years, 10, 15, 20 years. But I'm a little bit dismayed that a lot of the development focus, focuses primarily on um, luxury development and even middle class development. And very often communities such as uh, Makoko 
uh, village are completely overlooked. And this occurs, you know, throughout the world. This is not just, you know, Lagos, Nigeria. So the idea of this image is to, you know, really bring to light that these communities exist and they should be considered in terms of design. And not only considered and be designed for, but they actually have a lot to contribute. This is built in terms of green technology, uh, aquaponics, vermiculture, agriculture, as well as um, sustainable resources, land uh, reclamation, uh, waste reclamation, land reuse. So this is what a lot of my work focuses on, really bringing these things to light. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> <laughs>